I'm officially 27 today. My birthday dinner last night was, um, was a nightmare. It's weird to be working on your birthday on set. I don't know. Oh, that's hot. Honeys, let's go to dinner. One, two, three, let's switch this up. Hi honeys, welcome back. We are in Quebec and we are doing another production trip. This time it's a smaller team. It's just me and my two bosses. This is a Nick. Hi. You guys probably saw her in the last San Francisco vlog. We are doing like another kind of commercial shoot for, it's one day that we're doing it, but we have a lot of prep for tomorrow. And then the day after we're shooting, we have a bunch of meetings. We're doing live streams and whatnot. So we're here for technically today, Sundays. So we're here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday we're driving back. This is huge. Wow, hot tub, fireplace. Guys, I don't even think we'll be working. <laughs> we have Let's to. be real. Oh my God, look how huge this is. There's a bed up there. Stop! Truly, I have to say, as a production coordinator, I really did a very good job on this house. Something really fun about this vlog and why I wanted to do it, because not only am I going on another production work trip, but it's also my birthday this week. <laughs> Are we watching a race car show? Fun, my two bosses, they watch race car shows on their time off. <laughs> wow, really exciting. <laughs> Everyone went to bed, it's 10 o'clock. Um, and my bosses are like, wow, we're exhausted. Peace out, and I was like, are we not gonna go to the hot tub tonight? So instead, I'm gonna have a bath in this like gorgeous bathtub that's right there. Look at it, honeys. Like, that bath was amazing. Um, it's like 11 o'clock. I'm gonna probably head to bed because those guys are getting up tomorrow at 7 a.m. to start doing their work because we have a bunch of meetings and we gotta prep and uh, they said that I have to be up for nine. So I think it's time for me to get like a good night's sleep. Kind of plan for today. They have a bunch of meetings that are happening all day, sort of about this client and about another client. They're gonna need to give me work before they go to their first meeting at 11. And then I'm kind of on my own for the rest of the day. And I'm we're staying here at this house. So I'm just gonna have coffee, I'm gonna hang out. Might even go to the hot tub at some point as like my 30 minute break. Okay, let's go have some breakfast, honeys. Let's go say good morning to our to the bosses and let's start the day. Good morning, honeys. Good morning. Okay. That is not a leaf, guys. That is a moth. Those two are in a meeting and I thought, well, while they're in a meeting, why not go into this beautiful, glorious hot tub that like kind of looks a little bit scary. It looks like a black hole because it's all black. So, guys, that moth is still here. It still has not moved. Honeys, we have arrived. We're shooting at a really pretty garden today. It's weird to be working on your birthday on set. I don't know. I always thought like I was like, my birthday is like when I don't work, but I'm like, it's cause I never experienced working in something that I enjoy doing. I'd never worked serving on my birthday 
but this is something different. Like I like film, I like the industry, I like production. So anyways, we're getting close to where we're filming. I gotta let you go because I can't talk. I love you and um, I'll see you all very soon. We came home and took a really nice bath. I just relaxed. I had like a very tiny little bowl of pasta because I was starving. And we're going for dinner. Um, we chose not to go back to Montreal because Montreal is like an hour away. Quite frankly, like we're all pretty tired. Like those guys went to bed at like two in the morning and we were up at five. So they're running on like three hours. I at least went to bed at like 11.30. Also very fun. As I was packing up at the end, I get an email and I open it up and it's for a film festival. They're asking me to be a host for their 2023 summer film festival. Like here's the catch. Your girl's gonna be on a vacation on July 20th. So I'm like, this is so sad. I had this amazing opportunity and I can't even do it. Honeys, let's go to dinner. Good morning. My birthday dinner last night was, um, was a nightmare. Anyways, let's go make breakfast. Let's wake up. But I'm officially 27 today and I am feeling it. Let me tell you about the disastrous dinner. We basically make a reservation at this restaurant that's like three kilometers away from us. And we read the reviews, it has like five star reviews. It's like raving, blah, blah, blah. We get there um, and she's like, do you want to seat inside, outside? We said outside, they seat us outside. Um, it took the waiter a while to get to us. And then he gets to us and we could just tell like, he's like, it's like very all over the place. Like I'm like, what is happening here? Like I'm a server, so I know these signs. So I'm like, something's not going on right here. We had our order, I think put in at 7.50. The apertures landed on the table at 9 p.m. So we waited an hour and 10 minutes for our appetizers. Then the appetizers come. And I'm like looking at it and I'm like, I ordered beef tartare. And I wish I had a photo of it and I don't know why I didn't take it. The beef tartare literally looks like somebody opened a, like a can of like cat food and just like plopped it on the plate. <laughs> and then we end up complaining to the manager because we're just like, what is happening? Like it, we have waited so long. Like what is this food? Like the salad, literally the seasonal salad was just mixed greens, which half of them were already wilted and just like an entire like bottle of salad dressing just right on the top of the greens. And then... <laughs> The funny, like, this is like the funny part is that Mikita, my boyfriend, called the restaurant to be like, hey, it's my girlfriend's birthday. I won't be there, but she's coming in. Like, can I buy like a cake with a candle? And he goes, no, 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 no worries. Like, it even says on the reservation, it's her birthday. We'll take care of her. It's all good. Like, the cake is on us, whatever, blah, blah, blah. That's what they said. No one brought a cake. And the funny part is, Anik and Taras, my two bosses, literally had to go to the server to be like, hi, it's her birthday. Can we get a cake? We ended up just taking the cake to go because at this point, it was like two and a half hours that we waited for all of this. Anyways, and then at the end, he goes to Anik, he's tell like, talking to her because she speaks French and he's like I know it's your birthday and she goes no it's the girl with the birthday girl pin it's her birthday like <laughs> what a disastrous night I can't anyways we went home with our to-go cake <laughs> and when we tried it it just tastes like shit it was so bad it was so dry it was so gross it's okay it was fun we all experienced it together so that was the fun part I'm finally home. It is literally five o'clock. We've been driving since 9 a.m. And I just don't want to be sitting in a car ever again. I just like don't want to travel anymore. I'm not gonna lie. And you know what? It just so happened that this last month and a half, I literally had like the San Francisco trip for production. Then after that, the Bachelorette. And then after that, this trip. And I'm just like, and in two weeks, I'm going on a vacation with Mikita. 
I'm like, I literally don't want to sit in a confined space for like another six months. So I'm like, part of me is like, I don't even want to get to the vacation because I know I have to unpack and then repack all over again. But it's okay. Uh, my production team was laughing in the car because they're like, Anna, this is literally what production's like. This is what the industry is like. Like if you're legitimately working in this full time, consciously 24 seven, you're going to be flying in and out, like, you know, come home for two weeks, out on the road again for two weeks. And it's going to be driving and flying and everything. So I'm like, <sighs> something I have to get used to. Anyways, I'm gonna let you go here, honeys, cause this weekend is my birthday party and I have a couple of things I have to prep before I have to go back to serving tomorrow. Thank you so much for coming again with me on my little work vlog and of course, celebrating my birthday with me on my first work birthday trip. I just wanna thank all of you for being a part of my birthday again. And I'm excited to celebrate more birthdays with all of you, honeys. Mwah! Love you, honeys, see you next week. <laughs>